plan. Mistress Factory and and there we have the exploration. Second exploration. And that one resolves. This is this is good. This is good news. And looks like James has a gamble. Gamble to we, go get life from alone. James gonna get life from alone. It's not a gamble at all. He almost showed it to him. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> he just said in the, the thing, I've been revealing it all day. <laughs> like this this is where you want to get. Shuffle three cards, three card Monty for the um, life alone. I think in the life alone is, is the is the loss, and we get a wasteland, also I mean, a loss. Intuition was the best card yeah. to get. Intuition was the best card. So James is left with intuition and life alone in hand, while Nate is looking at uh, a tropical island, a lightning, like a red elemental blast. Does he also have a lightning bolt? I think he's got a lightning and bolt. And a lightning bolt. And what well, I can't see what that the uh, leftmost card is. Is that a scalding turn? Scalding a turn. Scalding turn. So he's got lightning bolt, red elemental blast, scalding turn, tropical island. James uh, has life from the loam. Two life from the loams. He just drew one. And uh, intuition. Did he? And passed the turn? Yep. I think he wants the intuition and the turn. I think he's being greedy. Honestly. I think so too. That was very greedy. There's no, I think he just wanted loam. Cast long, get wasteland, play lace, wasteland, wasteland, and land, pass the turn, and get your dredge engine going. Yeah, I think he's thinking that he wants to hold that mistress factory back in back in case, you know, Nate. In case, is, that, in case that one point gets starts to sting. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's like uh, Royce Gracie when he used to uh, win MMA, and he would just wrestle you down and hit you with like the back of his palm. Yeah. After, and after <laughs> ten minutes of him doing that, it you know. <laughs> You couldn't take anymore. Now he'll cast life from him. What just happened here? Did the intuition get countered? Yeah, intuition got countered by counter? red elemental blast. Okay, so now we go life from him. He's leaving um, factory up. Still afraid of nimble mongoose for some reason. Left factory up. He has a blast in hand, right? Doesn't he have a, a red blast in hand? No, he's got lightning bolt. Okay. Plays the second land, passes. Brainstorm drawn for <clears throat> for Nate. Brainstorm very good here with the scalding turn. He draws forceful brainstorm and ponder off that brainstorm. Probably gonna put the land in. Under back, shuffle those guys away. Or both lands. Like brainstorm here, okay, yeah. Land and ponder back. Get those shuffled away using scalding turn. Brainstorm's strictly better than ponder, right? Like, why would he get rid of. Uh, I think Brainstorm's better than Ponder. Especially because well, he's got another, he's got, he got another fetch land in yeah, hand. Yeah, Brainstorm's better than Ponder with the fetch land. Whereas without a fetch land, Pond is a little bit better. Brainstorm's still pretty good. Yeah. Even without fetch land. That was an interesting interaction, Brainstorm and fetch land, that um, first debuted and um, extended. Back when the fetch lands were first printed, um, the rap what are they from um, Invasion? They're I mean the the interaction what happened. What are they from? They're they're from Onslaught, but it Onslaught. happened a long time ago using the Mirage fetch lands, the ones that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. Not not quite as good, but um, hey, shuffling away bad cards or unwanted cards is as good as any. You can see in the the finals uh, of Pro Tour Chicago between Brian Davis and Bob Maher. In that finals match that happened. So Life of the Loom, trying to get cast for Glacial Chasm, uh, Tranquil Thicket, and Wasteland. Be careful, don't rearrange your graveyard. It and matters. That one resolves. Now this isn't a situation where you want to counter Life of the Loom. It isn't? It is not. 
What situation do you want to counter life from When you can use it to time up your opponent and attack for like a tempo game. Because right now, he would time walk them and attack for, for three. If there are two time goes in play like in game one, then it's, you know, then it's beneficial because you're getting 10 points of damage or eight points of damage out of it. What is, what is, uh, oh, he drew Tarmogoyf. Nate, that's pretty good. Yeah, Tarmogoyf comes in. So now we are looking for a Maze of If, although there's already a Glacial Chasm in Allen's hand, in James Allen's hand. So that can neutralize these attacks. But, as we <laughs> all know, you can't, you usually can't win the game with Glacial Chasm in play. So Jane Jones a second uh, life alone. Plays plays life from alone, getting back to the three Probably one fetch and two. He and doesn't have a fetch line. line. He's got two tranquil I mean, sorry, tickets. One tranquil ticket. But it gets countered. But luckily he has a second one. Sure. This is definitely when you play that second one. Kind of this is a place where you think you should counter it? Um, oh, the life totals are still pretty high. I would have waited. I would have waited. Because you're not going to get anything. You're just, basically, counter life alone is just, like, time warp. Just time warp. So you have to look at it. If I get another turn, I get to attack you for, well, I guess you get to attack for a lot. So how big is that time of life? Uh, it's like instant. Instant land. Land and creature, probably. I don't think there's a creature. Instant land enchantment. Yeah. Sorcery. Sorcery. So, so four or five. Four. So he gets an attack for seven. Well, I guess you would try to... I guess now is a good time to counter it because um, James is at 14, so you go seven attack and hope to pill another counter spell of some sort and attack again. Because right now it's looking bleak. James is gaining control of this game. Yeah. Hopefully for him he has enough time to finish this. But he also has a uh, glacial chasm, so just to preserve his life total. So now Chasm Loan's going to, Chasm Loan Exploration is going to get James pretty far in the turns, but we're also working on the clock here. This is one of those situations where you could definitely get a draw. See, right now, there's, there really isn't a way for Nate to win, but it's going to take a while for um, James to actually, you I mean, know, he's got deal barbarian 15 damage. Range. That's two damage at a time, two damage right. every turn. So that's a lot of turns. Maybe you could use it twice with exploration if you can build up enough mana, but with recursion of glacial chasm, it's gonna hard. It's gonna be hard to do with just an exploration, just one exploration. Up, oh, that's time in the round. That's time in the round. This is. This is what I was talking. This happened to me a couple of times in uh, GP Columbus a few years ago, where it was a good it was a good matchup for me, and I would uh, lose a game to like multiple mel melon ages or something like that, and you get to game three in a situation you know where you can't really lose, but you can't win yet. I don't think James can win this game, right? He can't lose it, but he sure can't win it. Uh, it's gonna be hard to deal. 15 damage. In two more turns after this one? Right. And he gets the bad turn. So he gets this turn, and he gets two more attack steps. And he can only play two land a turn. If that were a mana bond, maybe. If those, if that Tarmogoyf and that other creature weren't in play, maybe. If Tabernacle were in play, maybe. But right now, there's nothing that's going to happen. We're in turn one. 